There's nothing worth more that could ever come close. No thing can compare. You're our living hope. Your presence, Lord. I've tasted and seen. The sweetest of loves Where my heart becomes free And my shame is 
です。
Well, this is different. I can't help but envisioning the little girl I used to see running around in our Awana programs. Uh, when Brian and Dana were Awana leaders for that, our families had the privilege of being a part of your family for many, many years and have enjoyed learning about each of your journeys uh, through the years, especially with our common Husker heritage. Uh, that's always fun. I would call for a Go Big Red, but this probably isn't the time for that. Uh, but now your journey has brought you to this very special place as you both begin the adventure of following the Lord's further plans for both of your lives. Alan, Michael, and Jasmine and I have had some great times walking through some of the marriage resources and the uh, counseling uh, helps for building a house of marriage based upon God's design. It's a pretty thick file of resources, right? <laughs> and you will have many years to go back and to glean further insights and promises from God on all of his blessings for your covenant of marriage. And if others want to borrow some of these resources, well, Alan, Michael, and Jasmine are into education. <laughs> So they will be happy to share with you. But we are so blessed to see you entering into this covenant of marriage. Marriage is of God's design, and a beautiful design it is. In the scriptures, we find the foundation stones on which to build a marriage. Not only a marriage the way we would want it to be, or a marriage the way we would like it to be, but more. A marriage in line with the will of God and the word of God. Consider this counsel from Proverbs 24, 3 through 4. By wisdom a house is built. By understanding it is established. By the knowledge the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. So, first, your marriage is to be built upon the Lord and the strength of your marriage will not be from what you have, but from who you are. For unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. So it is to be built with wisdom, the wisdom that comes from God. It's rooted in deep personal fellowship with him and that which will enable your relationship with God to grow. 
Then, your marriage is to be established, is to be set in order, made to stand secure. This will be done through understanding. So, seek to understand the ways and the intents of the Lord in building your own lives and your marriage. Realize it's God's will for you to grow in your knowledge and your understanding of both him and each other. And when you think about it, <clears throat> Christian marriage is really a triune relationship. That's fascinating. It's a triune relationship of a husband and wife and the Lord. And so that means the closer you get to God, the closer you get to each other. It's wonderful. Then your marriage is to be filled and fulfilling. You see, the key to unlocking doors of fulfillment in marriage is this spiritual dimension, having a vital relationship with the Lord, serving one another and serving the Lord together. Remember, God said this, Things which eye has not seen and ear has not heard and which have not entered the heart of man, all that God has prepared for those who love him. And you see, God is not just talking about heaven here, but about the experiences of doing life together with God. It's remarkable. I want to also commit to you and your relationship with each other a passage from Colossians 3, 12 through 17. It says, So, as those who have been chosen of God, holy and beloved, put on a heart of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving each other, whoever has a complaint against anyone, just as the Lord forgave you, so also should you. And beyond all these things, put on love, which is the perfect bond of unity. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you are called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ richly dwell within you, with all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another with psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks through him to God the Father. What a remarkable passage in the scriptures. You see, these virtues stated here are to be the watchwords of your marriage. Compassion, kindness, humility, patience, forgiveness. So you're to clothe yourselves with these and then bind them all together with love. Without love, they're only moral duties, but with love, they're blended together in completeness. And so, express your love consistently through practicing these virtues. For example, be patient in times that are trying. Be kind in times that may be irritating. Be giving in times when you feel taken for granted. Be forgiving in times when you feel wronged. And be thankful in all times. This is the will of God for you. We know that our Lord Jesus expressed all of these toward us and demonstrated his love toward us. He even gave up his own life for us on a cross in order to provide for our full forgiveness, provide a new life in union with him. So you see a wedding, a wedding setting. A wedding setting is always a wonderful time to remind each one of us of our need to personally ask Jesus Christ for his saving forgiveness, and to ask him to unite his own life with our soul and spirit. And anyone can make that commitment by asking Christ to come into your life and be your Lord and your Savior. Well, Alan Michael and Jasmine, I trust that this counsel from Scripture will settle deep into your heart and will encourage you throughout your marriage. 
And may your home and your lives shine as a light for our God and our King and our Savior. And we all are praying God bless you today. Amen? Amen. Well, now it's our privilege to witness the exchange of their vows and of their rings. <clears throat> but first, I have a question <laughs> to each of you. Alan Michael, do you solemnly agree before God and these witnesses to take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife, to love and respect her, honor and cherish her in health and in sickness, in prosperity and in adversity, in leaving all others to keep yourself only unto her so long as you both shall live? I do. And Jasmine, do you in like manner solemnly agree to receive this man as your lawful wedded husband, to love and respect him, to live with him in all faith and tenderness, in health and in sickness, in prosperity and in adversity, in leaving all others to keep yourself only unto him, as long as you both shall live. Amen. Amen. Well, would you please join hands and repeat the following of your vows. I, Alan Michael, take you, Jasmine Dene. I, Alan Michael, take you, Jasmine Dene. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And I do promise and covenant. I do promise and covenant. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful husband. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. And in, sorrow, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. And now to you, Jasmine. I, Jasmine Dene, take you, Alan Michael. I, Jasmine Dene, take you, Alan Michael. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. And I do promise and covenant. And I do promise and covenant. Before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful wife. To be your loving and faithful wife. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Amen. And I believe you have a ring. Well, may this beautiful token and pledge symbolize the purity and the endlessness of your love. And you may place this upon her finger as you repeat your vows. This ring I give to you. This ring I give to you. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. Amen. I believe you have the ring. And may this beautiful token and pledge symbolize the purity and the endlessness of your love. And you may place it on his finger as you repeat your vows. This ring I give to you. This ring I give to you. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. Amen. And now you may enjoy couples communion together.
parents to come for a family blessing at this time. Join us in a prayer for this family blessing time. Our Lord God, our Heavenly Father, in your great love you created male and female and made the union of husband and wife an image of the union between you and your people. You sent Jesus Christ to come among us, making your love visible in him to bring new life to the world. May your Holy Spirit pour out the abundance of your blessings on Alan Michael and Jasmine who have this day given themselves to each other in marriage. Bless them in their work and in their companionship, in their sleeping and waking, in their joys and in their sorrows, in their life and in their death. Give them the gift and heritage of children in accordance with your will. Make their home a haven of peace. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts, a mantle about their shoulders, and a crown upon their foreheads. Bless them so that all may see in their lives together in the community of your people a vision of your kingdom on earth. And finally, in the fullness of time, welcome them into the glory of your presence. May they then hear the words from the Savior, Well done, thou good and faithful servants. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and your holy church, all honor and glory is yours. Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. to witness the lighting of the candles. All right, bless you. Yes. <clears throat> Every breath. 
With all that I have, I do, and I will. When the sky is falling, I promise you I'm all in, no turning back. Every day, every moment, every breath you take. I choose you. Would you join us in a wedding prayer? Our great God and King, this is a day of celebration for this couple and this wonderful occasion of covenant marriage. And we are so thankful that we get to witness this, your design, how you have created us for life together, and life together especially with you. We pray for their journey ahead for Alan Michael and Jasmine would be filled with your presence and power, provision for help for their day. We know their light, their lives already shine like a, a light for you, and we pray that you would cause that flame to grow more and more. And so we thank you for that. We pray a special blessing for their families, and that their families would enjoy all these gifts as well. And each one here, that we would just look to you once again. That you are the, the one who has come to unite your life with us. And by your wonderful gift of grace is a gift to us for life forever. So we thank you for this day of celebration. In Jesus' name.
And now by the authority committed unto me as a minister of the gospel, I declare that Alan Michael and Jasmine Dene are now husband and wife according to the ordinance of God and the law of the state. And God having joined these together in marriage, let no one seek to dissolve this union. And you may kiss your bride. Amen. <laughs> Amen. It is my honor and pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Alan Michael and Jasmine Wilson. Put on your white dress, yeah, cause baby, it's the day for me. I call my mama and daddy, baby, you call yours too. Put on your white dress, yeah, cause baby, it's a good day for marrying you. <laughs> I know you by now, which means I know what you think I'm bad. Your friends, they keep asking about us every day passing. It's time this fairy tale came true. Baby, the sun is shining, dogwoods are coming in blue. Put on your white dress, yeah, cause baby, it's a good day for marrying you. I call my mama and daddy, baby, you call your suit. Put on your white dress, yeah, cause baby, it's a good day for marrying you. Check all the baby, it's a good day for marrying you. I call my mama and daddy, baby, you call your stew. Put on your white dress, check all the baby, it's a good day for marrying you. Baby, the sun is shining, dark woods are coming in blue. Put on your white dress, check all the baby, it's a good day for marrying you. Check all the baby, it's a good day for me and you. I call my mama and daddy, baby, you call yours too. Put on your white dress, check all the baby, it's a good day for me and you. I know you by now, which means I know what you're thinking about. Your friends, they keep asking about us every day passing. It's time this fairy tale came true. Baby, the sun is shining, dark woods are coming in blue. Put on your white dress, check yeah, all the baby, it's a good day for marrying you. I call my mama and daddy, baby, you call your suit. Put on your white dress, check yeah, all the baby, it's a good day for marrying you. Find a ring if you'll find a shady tree. My friend, they're all buzzing. Words out, everyone's calling. Better tell them to bring a preacher too. Baby, the sun is shining. Dark woods are coming in blue. Put on your white dress, check yeah, all the baby. It's a good day for me. I'll call my mama and daddy. Baby, you call your street. 
check all the babies. Good day for Marion. It's a good day. It's about to get better. Our every dream is about to come true. No reason to wait. We got the weather. We just need our. You're all invited to join them in the receiving line. You're also invited to the reception at Lands in Clubhouse. And when you enter there, just let them know you're with the Wilson Edgren wedding party. Give them your name and just drive right on to the clubhouse. And the ushers are going to dismiss row by row. God bless you all.